Hello again, everyone. So in the last video, we had a look on how the states in React works and how the use effects works in general. But we need to use those concepts to fetch our data and use manipulate those data inside inside our application. So uh, to fetch the data, we need to make a call into that URL into this um, into this URL. I, I will make this bigger. So basically, we need to to call this URL and fetch those data. We need to make a, a GET request. So in order to do that, we can use something, um, some API already imported inside React, which is Fetch API. So Fetch API, it's like it's like a HTTP client we can use in our in our application to make HTTP requests. So how do we can call the fetch API, we can simply call fetch. And then we um, put the URL we need to call. And then we have a response. And that response is like a promise. So we can, we will get a promise and to resolve the promise, we can resolve it inside them. So the response will be a whole um, HTTP object. So from that HTTP object, we only need to extract the JSON response, the JSON result. So in order to do that, we call response.json to get the JSON, extract the JSON from the response. And then that also um, is a, um, we need to resolve this um, this response. Uh, we need to resolve this promise, and order uh, this also gives us a response with with the JSON JSON data. So we can simply right now manipulate this data. In our case, let's say that we need to display and let's see this these data. So let's make a console.log ample address. Let's save. So this use effect will be triggered uh, once the component being rendered. So if we open our React app and press F12, or you can you can use your um, press on, on your browser and on the right uh, uh, call, call this inspect. This will open the dev tool window inside the browser. You go to console and you will see that we have an array. And inside that array, we have a response of uh, about 20, 20 hundred uh, records. Each record represents a to-do. So this data is coming from our request. This data is coming from this request, and we are just displaying this data inside our console log, inside our console, using console log. So in our case, of course, we don't need to just uh, display the data into our console, but Rather than that, we need to set this data inside to dos. But let's say that we don't, uh, in our case, we don't need all these data. We need just a sample, few data we can use inside the application. So in this case, let's say that we need um, 10 records from those 200 records. So to do that, we can apply some array method on this on this response object or yeah this response array so we can call slice method and that will take two um, two parameters the parameter the first parameter is the first element in the array you need to start from which is the first one zero index and then the last element, which is not included, which is which will be not included, the last index. So 
basically we are telling the res to return the first one until index nine. I hope that clear. So let's console log the response and see what we get. So basically let's close this and see the other one. Yes, this is the one. So basically we are calling the API and fetching like 10 records and each record is um, a separated to do to do object. Okay, this is exactly what we need. So what we need from this data, we need to store these data inside our state so we can use this state inside the application. So in order, in order to do that, basically we can, instead of console log, we can call set to do's, this one, this method, to set the data inside to do's. So basically we are storing the to do's inside to do's states. Great. But also the fetch, after uh, making a promise, we need to catch any errors. So, so to catch errors, we call catch and then error. If there's any error, let's console log. Sorry, let's console log the error but in normal cases you can you can do something like this so and if there's any error just display it inside a state or just store it inside a state so i can use also this error inside the application error it's called like it's called like uh, error handling so if i call if i create if i create a state and I will call this error and this state error set not state set error and then I need to to use to use it like an empty object. This is the default the default value for error. So basically here what I need to do I need to call set error to set the error to set this state with the error if we have any error so basically we are making um, a fully uh, handled uh, get request into into the api and fetching the data storing the the response and storing any or catching any any error if we have so um in the next video we will complete and we'll go ahead with your, with our application. So thanks thanks for watching, and I will see you next.